South of Finch Farm is the Reeb Marina. It looks like a big old warehouse with a big wooden sign that says Reeb Marina written on the side. It's a handy little location. There's a weapons workbench inside and a power armor workstation in the shack next to it. But when you get inside, you're greeted by a Mr. Handy robot. Hello, Eugene. Your brother Malcolm has prepared a surprise for you. Follow me. Well, isn't that nice? You know, you spend all these hours in the wasteland and you think nothing kind can ever happen. And then you stumble upon a story like this with some kindly brothers. Happy birthday, Eugene. Happy birthday, Eugene. Happy birthday, Eugene. Good. Wait, what? <laughs> what on earth just happened? Well, to find out, we need to explore some of the terminals in the marina. While you're here in the dining room, be sure to get the Tesla Science Magazine lying on top of the table. Additionally, this quest is bugged. After the robot says, follow me, if he enters the dining room before you do, then the robots don't attack. They only say, happy birthday, Eugene, and attack you if you enter the dining room before the robot does. Also, sometimes one of the robots will get stuck outside and won't be able to find its way back inside. In that case, you're only fighting two robots and you have to go back outside to fight the third. On the table, you find a special, unique, one-of-a-kind sweet roll called the Happy Birthday Sweet Roll. It has candles sticking out of it. If you use mods like OC Decorator, you can place the sweet roll as a static object in your settlement. On the kitchen counter, we find two notes, break room note number one and break room note number two. Break room note number one is from Eugene. It says, Malcolm, would you mind not slurping your coffee? I can literally hear you on the other side of the hangar. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were doing it on purpose. Eugene. The second note is from Malcolm. Eugene, everything on this counter is mine. Touch anything and you're a dead man. Malcolm. All right, looks like we've got some typical sibling rivalry going on here. But brothers are supposed to stick together, especially in a nuclear apocalypse. How did it get to this point? If you go in the bathroom, you find bathroom note number one and bathroom note number two. Number one is from Eugene, Malcolm. Empty the latrine when it's full, Eugene. The second one is from Malcolm. Dear Eugene, eat excrement. Sincerely, Malcolm. Well, goodness gracious, this is just unkind. Inside the boathouse, next to a couch and a TV, we find a locked terminal with three entries in it. The dates are very early. The earliest one is November 2nd, 2077. So we're dealing with a scenario that happened over 200 years ago. This is not recent. This terminal belongs to Malcolm. We learn that Malcolm and Eugene are brothers and they arrived at the marina just after the bombs fell. Their plan was to fix up one of these boats and sail away to safety. Upon arriving, things seem to be going okay. Malcolm says, my brother Eugene is a little uptight, but family sticks together through thick and thin. Apparently he's a coffee drinker because he ends by saying, man, I need a cup of coffee. Indeed, on the table next to this terminal, we find a coffee pot surrounded by six or seven cups of coffee. This guy liked his morning Joe. The next note from Malcolm comes 25 days later. It appears that the brothers are having a disagreement on which direction they should go. Malcolm wants to sail north. Eugene wants to sail south. Eugene is not being very mature about the situation. He decides to play the silent game and he starts leaving snarky little notes around the place. But Malcolm responds with equal immaturity. He says to comply at that game, he gives Eugene the silent treatment too and also starts writing little snarky notes. Good grief. The final entry in this terminal is really disturbing. Day 45, we learn that Malcolm and Eugene are twin brothers. They're not just brothers, they're twins. They share the same birthday and Malcolm plots to kill his brother. He hacks into the security robots and programs them to kill his brother Eugene. That's why when you arrive, the robots mistake you for Eugene and begin attacking you. Malcolm went to the trouble to put candles in a sweet roll to program these robots to say, happy birthday, Eugene, and then the robots attack. Indeed, if you go into the dining room, you find the skeleton of a man lying on the ground. Apparently, Malcolm succeeded and killed his brother Eugene. Did Malcolm escape? 
Well, we find a second terminal in Eugene's section of the place called Eugene's Terminal. Like Malcolm's, it also has three entries. We learn from Eugene that they arrived at the marina exactly 10 days after the bombs fell. And Eugene is glad that his twin brother is there. He says, I'm glad that Malcolm is here. Family has got to stick together. Although he does complain about his brother Malcolm slurping his cups of coffee. The twins must be identical in more ways than just looks because they appear to have the same thought patterns. In note number two, we see Eugene starting to become angry at his brother simply because the brother disagrees on which direction they should go. He says that they need to go south. Malcolm says they must go north. But neither of these terminals say to where? What are they sailing south to? What are they sailing north to? They don't tell us. A direction isn't any good unless you know where you're going. This seems like such a petty thing to argue about. And in the final note, we see that Eugene had the same dark, murderous idea that his twin brother Malcolm got. Just like his brother, he plans to program the robots to kill him as a birthday surprise. But wait a minute. There's only one skeleton on the floor in the dining room, and the name the robots shout is Eugene, not Malcolm. We must assume that Malcolm was successful at programming the robots, and that the body on the floor must be Eugene's. But if they both programmed the robots to kill the other brother, why did only one brother succeed? Well, if you continue exploring Reeb Marina, around back you find three large blood bugs. They're pretty nasty creatures. Once you put them down, you find a coffin. And you can't open the coffin, but if you peer inside the crack, you find a full human skeleton. And there's a flower on the coffin. This has got to be the second brother. But which one? Well, it's got to be Malcolm. Here's what I think happened. Malcolm got to the robots first. He programmed them to kill his brother Eugene. But Eugene, having the same idea, goes to the robots and programs them to kill his brother Malcolm. Malcolm walks into the dining room. The robots attack and kill him. Eugene, thinking that he's successful, picks up his brother Malcolm's body, drags it to the coffin, puts it in the coffin, and stores it round back. When he comes back into the dining room, the robots initiate Malcolm's programming and kill Eugene. So it is Eugene's body lying on the floor, but only because he was the last brother killed. He died knowing that he successfully killed his brother Malcolm. Malcolm died surprised, shocked that his brother had the same idea that he did. Both brothers are dead, twins who shared the same womb. And over what? A disagreement about whether to go north or south? because Malcolm slurps his coffee too loud? It seems so petty to me, especially since we find more than one boat in the marina. If it was really that big of an issue, one of them should have gone south in one boat and the other should have gone north in the other boat. Why kill each other? Maybe they were slowly turning into feral ghouls. They had been out and about in the radiation for quite some time, over a month since the bombs dropped. Maybe they had not become ghouls yet, but the insanity of ghouls, the violence of ghouls, had started to bubble up within them. I guess we'll never know. But we leave the Reeb Marina, snacking on a 200-year-old birthday sweet roll. A little sad that two twin brothers met such a dark end. I suppose we can walk away from this, having learned that even the pettiest things in life, like slurping coffee, can lead to serious life consequences. Saying something you can't take back doing something you can't undo. And maybe the better option is to ignore the idiosyncrasies of our fellow man, especially if that fellow man is our brother, and instead embrace him and love him for who he is. But those are just the thoughts that went through my head as I explored Reeb Marina. What are the thoughts that went through yours? Did you find Malcolm's body in the coffin out back? Do you disagree with me as to which corpse belongs to which brother? Did you have any of the bugs with this quest that I mentioned at the beginning of the video? Let me know in the comment section below. I read all of the comments you guys leave on my videos, and I use them as inspiration for my future videos. I publish a new video every single day of the week, so be sure to subscribe to find out what I publish tomorrow. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, with a brand new video. Did you see that? Good.
thought it was me. 